Hi, this is Luke with The Gamer, and here's a guide on how to find all the blue medallions in the Resident Evil 4 remake. The blue medallions are back in the Resident Evil 4 remake, and there are many more than there were in the original. Hung throughout the village, castle and island by the Los Illuminados cultists, these shiny discs can be destroyed to earn rewards from the merchant. Whenever you see one, there are several more in the area, so be sure to get them all before moving on. Unless you're attempting a speedrun, it's always worth taking the extra time to find and destroy every blue medallion, as these extra spinals will yield new weapons, crafting materials, or even an exclusive upgrade ticket. So let me show you where to find them all. The first set of blue medallions is found in the farm area just after the big fight in the village. There's a building with a typewriter in it, and you can find one of the blue medallions hanging off the corner on the other side of it. Once you've shot that one, then turn to your right and hop this fence, and immediately turn right again, and there's another one hanging in this building. Then head to this small shed to your left, and you can find another blue medallion hanging in the roof. There's one more hanging very close by in a window by the big shed that you can hit from down here. The last one is a little bit further away, but not too far. First of all, head into the building where the portcullis controls are, and then once you climb up the ladder, turn around and go through this door at the back, drop off this ledge, and you'll find the last blue medallion hanging off the ledge you just dropped off. The next set of blue medallions start from when you enter the quarry area, but they're mostly in the fish farm. So once you find this notice, you'll find your first blue medallion just ahead of it. As soon as you proceed through this gate, stop where you are and pull out your rifle as this one is hanging high above you and it might be a little hard to hit with a pistol. And also, there's a treasure next to it if that takes your fancy. Moving on to the fishing village, you'll pass through here looking for gas for a boat, and you'll quickly run into a wave of enemies, so clear them out first, and then you can find the first blue medallion in this shack, behind where you first encounter a brute enemy. The next medallion is not too far away, head right and back into the water, past these two pathways, you'll see an enemy here with a sickle, so drop him, and then you can spot the blue medallion in a crack in the wood behind him. The next one is found not too far from the building where you find the gas for the boat. Once you leave the building, head under the walkway you passed over earlier, and there's another blue medallion hanging under there. The last medallion isn't too far from the boat that you'll need to put the gas in, but when you leave the fishing village, instead of heading directly to the boat, turn right and head along this elevated pathway, and the last blue medallion can be seen hanging underneath the dock. The next set of medallions isn't until you reach the castle, and they're in the area where cultists attack you with catapults, so it's probably a good idea to clear out all of them first. Once you've done that, we can start looking for these medallions. One is found right next to the cannon you'll be using. Just check this small damaged tower and there's one hanging in the window. Then drop it into the tower where the cannon is and look up and around the roof and you'll find one up there. Next, head towards this ladder and climb to the top. Once you're up there, look to the left and you can spot another medallion hanging off a tree below that nearby tower. Then start heading backwards but find this treasure chest instead of going through the door. There's another medallion immediately to its left. Then turn around and head through that door, and look up and to the right, and there's another one hanging up there. The last one is in the distance, so you're probably going to need your rifle with a scope on it. It's found above and to the right of the catapult at the far left. So just put in a shot there, and that is all the medallions in this area. The next set of blue medallions are found in the Great Hall, shortly after the Hedge Maze. As soon as you enter, look to your right and there's one hanging up there. Then head to the back of the room behind the statue and there's another one hanging on the central pillar in there. Then head up to the staircase on the right and look at the chandelier to find another one hanging off that. Another medallion is found in the dining room where you obtain the serpent's head. Check the window on the right at the back of the room and you can find another blue medallion hanging behind the drapes. The next one is found in the armory. Before you drop down here to grab the lion's head, just take a little trip to your right and check this alcove, and there's another one hanging up in there. The last medallion is found in the gallery, but when you first enter this room, you're going to have to fight off a few cultists. Once you've cleared this room out, you can find the last blue medallion at the back of the room underneath that balcony with the lever on it. The next set of blue medallions aren't found until you're on the island and reunited with Ashley. Shortly after you see the merchant and the last shooting range in the game, you'll head through these doors and come to this staircase. Head to the stairs and about halfway up, turn around and look to your left for one blue medallion, and then look up and you can find another one hanging underneath a staircase. Then you'll have to pass through an area that looks like this. There'll be a few enemies to clear out, 
Once you've dealt with them, you can find one blue medallion hidden between two red containers. Then turn to your right, and you can find another blue medallion hidden behind these stacked boxes. The last one is found near this staircase. Before you go through the door at the top, turn to your left and look up, and you can see one final blue medallion hung high up there. The final set of medallions is found in the cliffside ruins just after our friend Mike's helicopter is destroyed. After the cutscene ends, turn to your left and drop down this ladder, and follow this pathway until you come to some archways on the right. In the first one, look over the top and you can find the first medallion hanging off a rock. Then head back up the ladder you just climbed, turn to your right, and then keep looking to your right as well, and you can spot another blue medallion between the ruins and the construction work. Then turn right again, go past the ladder, and follow this pathway along the edge. Look over the right side and you can find another blue medallion hanging under the ruins. After that one, pull out your sniper and look into this tower. There's one hanging right at the top. Then head further down the path towards this light in the scaffolding and you can find the last medallion just behind it. So that's how to complete all the blue medallion requests in the Resident Evil 4 remake. Thanks for watching and check out thegamer.com for more.